okay hopefully hopefully I'm live it was live last week so let's see if okay it looks like I am live uh, let me just type in here can you hear me um, let's see I'm gonna wait I jumped on early because it was weird last time oh where's my phone there we go so I'm just gonna check and see if my phone sees that I am live we go to YouTube uh, guys comment if you can hear me and comment the time right now it's 529 I know we jumped on a couple seconds early but I want to make sure that the changes that I made worked okay um, uh, let's see can I go to my turn your channel all right so uh, it says I've got three concurrent okay so it says I'm live here Let's get rid of that. Uh, got a little commercial. Turn that down. Let's see. Can you hear me? I'm buffering on my own thing here. Uh, all right. So it looks like I am live. I am on the right thing. Yeah. Last week, Sunday, it had been so long since I'd gone live that it was a little weird. I was live and I didn't even realize it. So good news is i am live and it looks like i'm working and i've got stuff falling all over the place so uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wait a couple minutes um i am in the dark here simply because it's about 7500 degrees here in my office um my office is on the west side of of our house and as you know the sun goes down on the west side so it gets kind of warm kind of steamy um, and so it's really hot in here. So I'm in the dark. I'm not usually in the dark like this. I just have the three monitors. Um, if I, if you guys see me look over to the left, it's because I'm looking at, at the chat. So, um, I'm not looking at a script or anything like that. I'm, I'm looking at a chat to see if you guys have questions. If you do have questions, cer certainly throw them out there because I'll be happy to answer them. Um, so we'll just give it a couple more minutes. It's 5.30. I like to be very punctual. We'll give it a couple more minutes. Uh, the stream's current bit rate is lower than your recommended bit rate. We recommend that you... Okay. All right. So it looks like we've got a few people. Let me know that you can hear me and see me. You should be able to see both my screen. Uh, hopefully I'm not frozen here. Hey, Steve. Hi, Amir. Okay, good. So it looks like people are commenting. They can hear me. They can see me. All right. So welcome to the channel. Um... Are you guys subscribers? If you're not subscribers, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I am going to talk about something that I'm very excited and happy to share with you. Uh, but first, I have some some uh, housekeeping items, some selfless promotion that I am going to do here. First things first is if you want to learn more about sales funnels, I do have a dedicated a dedicated channel just to sales funnels. So if you want to learn more about click funnels, and I'm actually starting a a little training about um, about Samcart because I see all these commercials. And so I'm trying to kind of go through it as a complete newbie to see how easy or difficult it would be. I'm going to post those videos later. So um, if you want to learn more about sales funnels, check that out. If you want to learn more about affiliate marketing programs, check that out. Um, affiliate program reviews. These are my videos where basically I'm just talking about different affiliate programs. One of the reasons why I'm doing this is because we get so stuck on talking about health, wealth, relationships, and technology that most of the population, and let me know if I sound weird because I'm using a new mic and you know it takes some time to get adjusted. But um, if you want to learn more about different affiliate programs, check out this channel. Again, we get so stuck on health, wealth, relationships, and technology that I want to highlight some of the other programs that are out there and actually show you how to make money with them. So uh, check out these two channels if you want to learn more. Uh, so that is that and that. The other thing that I want to show you is uh, and tell you is it's my birthday weekend. It's Monday, I think, birthday week, I should say. Monday is my, my birthday. And as such, I'm giving away this step-by-step um, -step blueprint, the step-by-step -step guide for just a dollar. Normally I sell it for $17 or $27, excuse me, but I'm selling it for just a dollar. And uh, basically it's the exact step-by-step -step process that I use to go viral on TikTok. I have, um, this video has almost half a million views, which is crazy. Um, this right here on Pinterest, I actually use the same videos, a spoiler alert. This right here, I only have 2.8 thousand followers, but I have 1.2 million monthly views. And this blueprint, if you go to 60 second, 
60secondbusiness.com. You'll be able to pick this up for just a dollar. I'll put that in the in the bio if you want to get into it. But let's talk about what you guys want to talk about, which is which is an affiliate marketing course. And what I'm what I'm really excited about is um, I'm I'm excited about this affiliate marketing course that that I've um, I've remastered. We'll say. Now, uh, last month or maybe even the month before, I had created an affiliate marketing course. Hey, Alston, what do you think about Medium Update? They banned all affiliate articles. Hmm. How can we still be in the game without getting banned? Hello, Tick Music. So what I would do, Marco, is I would I would still post to Medium. Ultimately, what I'd recommend is that you get your own website. But until then, what I would do, if you if you're dead set against getting your own website, I would um, still write on Medium, send them to a landing or bridge page, a free one like Google Sites. You can create a free one on Google Sites. I don't recommend it, but you could do that. And then have a one page bridge page and then get them over to your affiliate offer. Um, I would try that. Ultimately, you should have your own website, in my opinion, uh, because because of things just like this. Medium, Google, you know, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, they could all ban you tomorrow, but people can't kick you off of your website. Um, you might have to work a little bit harder in order to get the leads and sales because you have to write um, quality uh, quality content. But ultimately, I think that you should have your own website. But if you do something like Google Sites, and I'll just bring that up real quick because it was asked, um, Google, Google Sites. And Google Sites is free. Um, you just need to have a Google account. And let me know if that answered your question. But if I drag this over, you can create, and I've created a couple just to show you. Um, if you go to sites.google.com, I have this one for the 12-minute affiliate system I did a year ago just to show you. Again, I recommend that you ultimately have your own website just because it's going to reduce some of the, the hurdles that you've got to go through. Um, and what you could do is once you have your own website is still write on, on Medium, send them over to a, um, your website, your website could be one page just like this and and um, and then get them over to the affiliate offer. Ultimately, I like that. And another benefit of creating your own website is you can get paid with Google Ads or Ezoic or some of those other ad revenues out there. Marco, let me know if that answered your question. Um, so about a year, not a year, uh, about a month, month and a half ago. Yes, I know, but I'm writing product reviews. That's why I use Medium. I know about Google Sites, they're good, but Medium ranks better. No, what I would do is I would simply only use Google Sites as a bridge page. If they won't let you go directly over to Amazon, I would say, um, I, I would you know write the article as normal and then send them over to Google Sites or any one pager really to as that, that buffer and then say, you know, um, if this, uh, maybe if, let, what, I, what you could do is you could write a simple Google Sites page for each product that you're recommending. So let's say you're talking about a toaster. You could write an article on Medium about a toaster, link them over to Google Sites, and then on that, that Google Sites page, you could say, um, you know, have a couple bullet points or even a more in-depth product review. And then you can put affiliate links in Google Sites for now. But ultimately, I think you should have your own website um, and then link to that. Anyway, about a month and a half ago, I created this this course. This is this was a completely mostly free um, affiliate marketing course, and a course on how to make money and, and all of that good stuff. And while it's a good course, I didn't like how it turned out. I didn't like the structure. Um, I didn't like how it kind of looked and fe felt. And so it was kind of um, I, I didn't talk about it a lot. Um, there is a ton of free stuff in here, as you can see. There is a ton of information on um, getting started with affiliate marketing. I also have information on blogging and email marketing and all of that good stuff. Um, but I didn't talk about it a lot. I didn't promote it. And what I did and what I've been doing the last few days is I've actually gone back and I have retooled, I've re, um, remastered, as I mentioned, a brand new affiliate marketing course that I'm still working on and it's something that I'm really excited about. And so I, I've just jumped on to, to share it with you um, because I, I think I think it could help everyone. If we go over to, um, if you go over to members.alstongodbolt.com, that's where this new site is is going to be. Let me just show you the homepage. Um, as you can see, it's, it's still 
um, it's still in the works here and I'll put a link down here it is um, it's something that I'm 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 really really um, really happy about because I think it's turning out much better than than this this still worked and it was very functional but this is going to be much much better for a number of reasons that I'm going to explain to you the free package includes a ton of information you're getting probably three four five hours of free affiliate marketing course it says mini course but it's longer than a lot of the courses that are out there um, in addition one of the other cool things I like is um, you're going to also get uh, you're going to get training on how to start your first website. So Marco, this could probably help you out because I'm going to show you step by step how to get started. Um, you're going to get done for you sales funnels and you're going to get done for you um, landing uh, autoresponders and broadcast emails. These are tested and proven to work and you're getting all this for free. In addition, you're going to get a pub public group that you can join and ask questions and you're going to get content creation templates also you're going to get calculators I don't have that in here one of the things that I, I wanted to do that I that didn't turn out great was I have a few calculators in here um, the calculators are like I quit calculators so um, you can actually crunch the numbers and figure out exactly um, how many days until you can give your two-week notice or your notice to your boss that you're quitting um, it's kind of like a one of those fun things to help you envision your end goal I don't see it in here. Um, uh, where'd it go? Anyway, it was a Google Sheet and I didn't like it. I wasn't a huge fan of it. And so what I did was I actually, um, I redid it and I'm in the process of uploading new ones so that it looks much better. It's interactive, it's intuitive, and it's something that I'm really excited about. So if we scroll down here, as you can see, um, I have a ton of training. All of the, these six trainings, which I will continuously add more, are all free and included to help you get started with affiliate marketing and growing your online business. But then, if you wanna take it to the next level, I have even more training to provide for you, um, and I have additional features. In addition to the training that you see here, you're also going to get access to uh, the community. As you can see, I'm still trying to uh, get this worked out. Um, there are discussion forums, there are groups, there's all sorts of things just embedded right here and we're not going to rely on on facebook so i'm really excited about this i think this is a really cool opportunity where you can actually speak with like-minded individuals one of the problems that you run into with facebook is you get people that um, are just trying to spam their links and they're not really contributing to um, the society but are contributing to the group so um, one of the cool things as i mentioned is you're going to get complete access to people that actually want to help you succeed uh, you're going to share information uh, the other cool thing with with everything that you see here is it's a real case study it's not just you know pie in the sky theory based uh, I include both what I what I do every day um, and you know I take you through step by step I think the example I use in the in the course is I show you how to get started with the tennis niche I show you how to make money with the tennis niche understood thanks for the tips so what do you suggest us focusing on to stay in the game for the long term. I think Marco asked about what should we do? Where should we go next? I think you should get a website. I think you should start a blog. You're already writing. You might as well uh, get started with with um, with a web host. I can put a link in the description to Bluehost. I think that's a good place to start. Um, I think you're doing yourself a disservice by not having your own base of operations. I think that I think that having your own website is a base of operations. Like, for example, I could wake up tomorrow morning and YouTube could kick me off the platform and I have no recourse. But if I have my website, at the very least, I still have Google, I still have Bing and Yahoo and DuckDuckGo. I still have more opportunities and more options. But if TikTok kicks me off tomorrow, which is a possibility of YouTube, I'm not on Instagram too much, Pinterest, all of these places could kick you off tomorrow but at least you still have your own base of operations to fall back onto and still make, make money. But um, ultimately, at the end of the day, I think that a, a lot of people are going to tell you that you don't need a website. And I would say look and see what they're doing instead of what they're saying, okay? Uh, you can go over, you can Google or you can YouTube after this video uh, how to start affiliate marketing without a website. Most of those guys have a website. And so... It's very important to actually see what they're doing while listening to what they're saying because at the end of the day, they probably have a website of some sort 
and they're getting free traffic from the website. So um, Marco, get a website. Short answer is, is get a website. Um, one of the questions that I get a lot too is, do I just teach people how to make money online? The answer is no. I run, I think five or six, maybe seven blogs in different niches. And so I have a pretty good understanding of, of some of the other stuff when it comes to affiliate marketing. I don't just talk about affiliate marketing. Um, I got into this aspect of the game because I felt like there wasn't a lot of um, communication. It felt like everything was missing. There, not everything. I felt like some of the stuff was missing. Um, not in, not all of the information was communicated. So um, I got in. If you look at some of my very older, older, older videos, I tried to give you every single thing that I could think of regarding that topic. That video, the, those videos were twenty minutes long. Is there a GTP three apps? Are good for blogging. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Um, it says, "Is there GT3, GP, G, GPT3 apps are good for blogging?" I don't know. I, I can't. I'm sorry. I can't answer that question. But um, I first got started because I was watching video after video. You know, you get stuck in that consumer mode, and then you know what? That's ultimately at the end of the day. That's that's the difference. Hello, Alston. Happy early. Born day wishes to you. I pray your every dream comes to fruition. Is the package today $27 for $1 for your birthday? Yes, the blueprint that I referenced, um, the link, it says $27, but when you enter in your name and your email, the um, payment will be just a dollar. What is the best way of getting started affiliate marketing for beginners? So the, the best way, absolute best way is to, in my opinion, you either want to pick a niche if you don't have a product that you want to promote or Pick a product and reverse engineer. Um, there, there are two ways to go about it. And the cool thing with affiliate marketing is everybody is doing it. There, there, there's someone doing affiliate marketing in literally every niche. Everything from basket weaving to adult content, there's an affiliate program and there's an affiliate marketer that is making tons of money. So ultimately what I recommend, Steve, A, get the free course. I recommend everyone dry, uh, sign up for at least the free course. Um, I'll put a link in, in the description. Um, I recommend that you just take the step, go from being a consumer to a creator because a creator that's making mistakes is better than um, a perfect consumer because you're just watching video after video after video. Hopefully that makes sense. What you, what you should do every single day is create something, whether it's you create a, a, a brand new blog, whether you create a TikTok video, uh, just create something and you'll naturally, A, you'll get better. B, you'll have something out on the internet that someone may find uh, special and, you know, it may resonate with them. Uh, you don't have to be an expert in anything. Uh, I certainly don't consider myself to be an expert. I don't consider myself to be a guru. In fact, I'm trying to learn as much as possible. I watch YouTube videos on affiliate marketing to learn tips as well, to learn and see what other people are doing. Um, you should always be learning when you're doing this stuff because, you know, once you get to the top, you know, people are going to be coming for you. So at the end of the day, you want to learn the, the latest tips and tricks so that you can stay at the top. So what I recommend that you do, Steve, is A, ac uh, get access to this course. B, start creating something. Find a medium that you feel comfortable with. It can be blogging. It can be YouTube. It can be podcasting. It could be starting a Facebook group. Find a medium, what I call a platform. Find a platform that you're comfortable with and just start creating. You'll know if it works if people start to follow you. You'll know if it works if people start to subscribe. Um, you'll know if it works if you start making some money. Can make passive income Pinterest. Yes, you can make... the. At the end of the day, there are hundreds of millions of people on all of these platforms. There's hundreds of millions of people on Pinterest. There's hundreds of millions of people on, and you know what? I like Pinterest and not a lot of people talk about Pinterest because um, at one point, and I haven't checked the numbers recently, Pinterest users go to Pinterest looking for a solution. They have a problem. Maybe they want to uh, do a DIY project. They're going to Pinterest and searching for a solution. It's not like Facebook where people are just scrolling Facebook and then you've got to stop them and then you've got to get them to buy something. People are going to Pinterest because they're looking for a solution and they're going to Pinterest 
um, it, the Pinterest users have a higher monthly household income than other platforms. So um, they're going over to Pinterest, they have money to spend, and they want to spend the money. So yes, you can make money on Pinterest. What I recommend that you do is do Pinterest video pins. That's the way to go. That's how I was able to do uh, 1.2 million monthly views. Uh, 1.2 million monthly views um, just, just with Pinterest. But again, pick one platform that you're comfortable with. Ultimately, I think you should have a blog or a website, a base of operations of some sort too. Pick one platform and just go all in. Do it until you get your first sale. If you felt it was too much work, go to something else. If it came easy to you, keep doing it. Um, so hopefully, Steve, that answered your question. But getting back to the the original one, I am really excited about this. It just looks better than, than the other thing that I had going. And I think it's going to be very, very helpful. Now, there are three levels to this. If we scroll back up here, bronze, you get... Uh, access to these first six courses uh, for free silver you get access to the first uh, maybe 12 courses and you get access to the membership area and you get access to um, you get access to a forum and you're gonna get access to a monthly coaching call so once a month we'll jump on we'll talk about what's working what's not working um, and you'll get internet marketing training. It's not on there, but you'll get access to that as well. If you are gold, you get access to all of this training plus more. Every course that I've ever created, uh, you'll get access to that. You'll actually get access to a private Discord as well. That's not listed on here. But the cool thing with the private Discord is you'll have direct access to me. Um, I'm actually new to Discord, so it probably won't go well in the beginning. But we'll figure it out together. Steve, uh, you stay safe also. Um, if you guys have questions, definitely throw it out. But... I would jump on this. It's completely free, 100% for free. And I think it's going to be incredibly helpful for, for anyone that's looking to get started. Um, and I'll put a link here as well. Uh, I like that. I like it's on, I like that it's on a subdomain and it's easier to access for people. There we go. Um, that is, that is the link. Do you guys have any questions about affiliate marketing? Do you have any questions about, uh, this course, the platform, what you should do next. Now, ultimately, what I recommend is that um, I think that you should you should pick a niche, um, pick something that you're interested in. The reason why you want to pick something that you're interested in, you don't have to love it. Just pick something that you're interested in because you want to be able to create content for the long haul. One of my most successful sites um, only has 10 blog posts on it. The reason why it only has 10 blog posts is because uh am i late how long has this been going on uh this is going on i started at 5 30 so about 21 minutes uh welcome la julie uh, let me know if you have any questions in in the chat um the site that i i started on my most successful site relatively speaking like pound for pound we're talking about only has 10 blog posts on it because i got tired of writing about that niche and believe it or not, a tiny site, and, and this is a few years ago, it brings me sales every single day because it's a micro niche. It's very small. Not a lot of people were talking about it at that time. So A, I know that blogging still works in 2021. B, I know that tiny sites can bring money. And if you do keyword research correctly, you can make money with a tiny site. Now, I'm sure the question will be is, can you tell me that site? No, because I don't want a bunch of people taking my t taking my my little bit of money that I get from that site. But it's funny because um, I'll I'll check it's it's an Amazon site. You know, I promote the product over on Amazon. Um, I'll check my Amazon associates and I'll I'll get commissions for these products. And I haven't written a blog post on it in probably two years. But um, so I have probably five or six sites, and I have maybe three or four YouTube channels, and I have. Uh, TikTok account and Pinterest. But the key is, at least in my opinion, the key is to repurpose as much content as you want or as, as possible. Um, if you're just beginning, you probably shouldn't try and be everywhere. You shouldn't try and be on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok. Pick one or two and focus. I think you should have a primary platform and a secondary platform. When I say primary platform, I mean like a blog, uh, YouTube, or a podcast. And I think all of the social media are secondary platforms. 
uh, secondary platform should be used to push con push um, push your audience to your primary platform. It'll help you grow your primary platform faster, and um, it'll help you make money in, in multiple ways. Um, so yeah, so I think that you should find a topic that you're interested in, and just pick a platform and start creating. Um, if we go over to the crazy thing is is literally everything's a niche. What you can do. And I think I talked about this before is you can look up income reports. We'll go income reports, we'll drag that over here. And you can see people are writing about everything and they're talking about everything. So if we go income reports, uh, 53 blog income reports, this is a good idea of everybody's making money and you could create content in the basket weaving niche and you could make money. If we scroll down here, and this is from, I think, 2016, yeah, 2016, so these blogs have probably only have grown from there. If you look at these, you can kind of tell what these what these are about, but, I mean, you, you can do the same thing with YouTube or blog or TikTok. You can use these or Instagram, whatever it is. You just need to go out there, and you need to go from a consumer to a creator, Start creating content. The content's going to be bad in the beginning. That's fine. Go back and look at some of my earlier YouTube videos. Those videos aren't good at all. Um, some would say that videos that I made yesterday aren't good at all, but that's fine. You, you, need to, you need to make the leap. You need to make that. It's a small step. Believe it or not, it's a tiny, tiny step that you need to make. You need to make the step from consumer to creator. And believe it or not, you're already a creator. If you create over on Facebook, like if you're if you're talking to your friends on on Facebook, you're a creator. Uh, is Amazon still worth doing because of the low commission rate? You should be able to find something comparable on any other platform. Marco asked, "Is Amazon still worth doing because of the low commission rate?" I think that you should be able to find something consumable. Ooh, we got a phone call there. Um, we're not taking live calls right now. Uh, you can find something comparable. And the easiest way to do it, in my opinion, is to look at, the easiest way to find, find a niche simply is to type in your niche in the affiliate program. Or you can look at, at something like Commission Junction. Or you can look at, um, Affiliate Marketing Dude really likes Offer Vault. I don't like the look of Offer Vault. It makes my eyes hurt. But if we go to Offer Vault, I'll bring that up here. Uh, let's see. If we go to Offer Vault, this has different affiliate programs that you can search. For example, let's say um, let's say Cookware. Cookware. You can search, and you can see, and that's the affiliate marketing dude right there. Um, but I mean, you can fall back on Amazon because the good and bad of it is they've reduced their commission, so it's very low. But the good of it is you can stack your commission still. So if someone comes over to Amazon to buy, let's say, an uh, um, inflatable pool, they buy the inflatable pool, and then they buy chlorine, and they buy swim trunks and goggles, you can still make pretty good money that way. Um, that's why people still do it. But you can probably find something comparable on Walmart. I would tar Target's kind of difficult. But... Um, you can see there's there's just so many different ways. You can also go to Commission Junction. If we go to CJ.com, if we go to CJ.com, I'll have to log in here. Let's go back over here to log in. But what what the the hardest step that you're ever gonna have to make is going from consumer to creator for money, because everyone already creates. You post on Facebook and Instagram. You're, you're a creator, but you know, you need to make that leap from consumer to creator. If we go over here, I'm going to bring up uh, commission junction. Hey, Marco, what is uh membership? Thanks. Hey, thanks for purchasing Capri. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Um, and thank you for the birthday wishes. Marco, what is a niche? Do you have your niche considered thought out? Because what you can do is you just go over to commission junction and you can type in a keyword. Uh, maybe it won't let me do that. Let's see. All right, there we go. So we could type in a keyword of, let's say, we'll just type in kitchen. Uh, all right, so we'll type in kitchen. We're going to click search. 
and this will be the one search result that has nothing. But as you can see here, there are tons of opportunities out here and you don't just have to rely on, you could do Williams and Sonoma affiliate program. I wrote about that on my blog and I have a YouTube video about the Williams Sonoma affiliate program. They actually pay pretty good commissions. There's tons of major brands out there that are begging to give you money, but people only focus on the big ones. They focus on Amazon. They focus on Bluehost, which is, you know, a big one. Um, and then they focus on health, wealth, relationship, and technology. But if we go over to, let's think of a, let's think of a, let's think of a question here. Um, actually, I, the, the funny one that I always came up, came back with was uh, best vacuum for VA, uh, let's spell words correctly. All right, best vacuum cleaner. If we go down here and then we type in four. And then if you do like best vacuum cleaner for pets, those top results used to be blogs where people were making money with affiliate programs. Uh, good housekeeping. They have they have um, an affiliate program with Amazon. They're recommending products over to Amazon. Everything is a niche. You just have to go from consumer to creator. Once you do that, things will get much easier for you. Uh, let's see, let's do the best vacuum cleaner for pets and allergies let's see if that one brings us different results very well health again these are all blogs where i used to compete with the spruce um, these are all different blogs where people are recommending vacuum cleaners there's people out there and another good one i did a i did a blog post about the gap affiliate program and you could recommend the gap during back to school time you could recommend i'm in the weight loss and software niche yes i watch Marcus, he loves Offer Vault. I watch his video about Munchai and doing pre launch product reviews. What do you think about that? So, Marcus, you know, Marcus is, is incredibly smart. And, you know, I, I watch his videos a lot too. I just struggle with a lot of those products over on, on Munchai simply because. I used to be the type of guy that would buy those products over on Warrior Plus and be disappointed when they didn't solve your problems. Um, and so <clears throat> I try and only promote products that I have tested, that I feel comfortable with. I, If you notice, I only promote probably three or four products. If you're on my email list, I only promote maybe three or four products because those are the products that I believe in. And those are the products in most cases that I've tried myself. Um, I'm either promoting the product that products that I've made or the products that I've tried and I feel comfortable and I, you know, I can put my name behind. But if you go over to, if you go over to Munchai, you'll see the same names coming up with new products every single month. And every single month, those products are done for you systems that are going to solve all your problems. But if, in my opinion, if those first products worked, we wouldn't need a new product every single month. That's my personal feeling on it, and so I stay away. I stay away from from that. Um, and the other issue too is if you go over to a product on Munchai, the people that are promoting it, they'll have these huge mega super bonuses that really aren't worth anything. Like I did a, I did a video, um, a few, a few months ago where people are offering eight thousand dollars in bonuses if you buy this product. Well, I mean. If you've got a product, if you're giving away $8,000 in bonuses, why not just sell that product for $15 or whatever? And so it's, it's a, to me, I don't like it. People are making money doing it. There are tons of affiliates on YouTube that are promoting products. And the other issue too, and, and this, I don't want this to turn into a rant, but the other issue too is it's kind of like you're on a treadmill. Every day you've got to promote those products because they're here today, gone tomorrow. Um, a lot of those products, they have the hype in the very beginning. They have the hype in the first week or so, but you have to continuously promote those same products unless you're doing one or two, unless you're doing two videos per day where you're promoting or talking about affiliate marketing and you're promoting those products. If you, I mean, if we go over to, what is it called? Munchai? I think it's called Munchai. Munch I. Um, let's see. And again, this isn't designed to disrespect anybody that's creating content. Like if we look, 
uh, today, what today's the 15th, July 15th. If we look at, mm, I don't see any, oh, okay, it recently launched. I wonder if we can find one. I mean, because if we go over here, we're going to see that these guys are uploading every single day. And if they don't upload every day, they're going to miss out. But let me show you if we go over to Commission Junction and we talk about weight loss. Another thing that you can do is simply type in weight loss in the affiliate program. Weight loss plus affiliate program. The reason why you want to do that is simply you'll find affiliate programs that nobody's talking about. Another thing that you can do is you can simply um, contact companies that you want to work with. There's a lot of opportunity. The worst that people can say to you is no. And as you can see, there are so many different opportunities out there that if one person says no, there's going to be 10 other people that, that say yes. So apply to all of them and let the chips fall where they may. As you can see, Beachbody pays $2.50. If we click on this, this is probably per lead. Uh, weight loss, both Tim Commission. Uh, let's go to program terms. Let's see. Sales equal to or greater than. Hmm. Uh, cookie window, 30 days, which I really like. But as you can see, I mean, there's just so much opportunity out there. And you can, you can potentially make money. But I think that... Where are we at here? Oh, let's go back over to this course. Now, this course is going to give you... The, just the free course is going to give you a ton to get started. If you are brand new, if you have no idea what affiliate marketing is and you, um, you've you heard people talk about it and you're kind of on the fence, the free course is for you because it's going to give you everything that you need. If you're looking to kick it up a notch, if you're looking to make go to the next level, like you've made a few sales, but you probably but you want a little bit of direction, you want a little bit more information, that next level, the silver is for you. If you want to, um, if you want even more coaching and information, go with the bronze because again, that's going to be that discord. Now, what I wanted to do initially was to have live chat on this website. In fact, if you go down here, there's live chat enabled. We are away. Leave us a message. Um, there's live chat on here, but I, I couldn't figure out a way to make the live chat embedded into the gold members only. And so I, I had to come up with another idea. And right now that idea is Discord. That seems to be where everyone is. But again, three levels to meet you where you are. If you are brand new and you just want to see what it's like, you want to see what to do, what to get into, what not to do, um, start, start with a free plan. If you want to go uh, make it to that next level, kick it up a notch, um, you, you maybe made a couple sales, a couple commissions, but you want to scale, go with silver. And if you want, um, a lot more, go with the gold, but this is, I mean, I think this looks, in my opinion, this looks much better than this. This was over on, on click funnels. I wasn't terribly thrilled with it and you know, it's, it's in progress. There's some, some stuff that needs to be worked out, but I think this looks really, really good. Do you guys have questions for me right now that I can answer? We are about, uh, about 30 minutes in and I would love to answer any questions that you guys have about affiliate marketing uh, as I was mentioning a little bit earlier create content on something that you're interested in or you have enough knowledge where you can outsource it one of the cool things that you can do is you can outsource writing and not a lot of people are going to tell you this you can outsource writing to people in the Philippines why the Philippines because they speak very good English they work very hard. Um, I, I don't know if English is their uh, English isn't their native language, but I think they you know it's very close to it. Uh, consumer to creative, love it. I am brand new and would like to know what is the best way to go from zero to one hundred dollars per day on Pinterest. Well, in my opinion, it's to create a create an account, create a Pinterest account, create a business account, so that way you can look at your analytics, pick. A niche pick a, a, a topic any topic can work and the cool thing with, with Pinterest is that they can rank in Google if I go over to Ahrefs I'm gonna show you that Pinterest can Pinterest um, Pinterest ranks in Google for for terms so um, Ahrefs is a paid tool you don't need it to start I just like it to help illustrate the power of, of anything 
uh, let's see. So we'll drag this over here. And I'm going to go to Pinterest.com. Pinterest.com. Uh, let's see. I'll go to Pinterest.com in a second. But so create a board. Now, some people are going to tell you that you need to create 10 boards and you need to upload between 10 and 50 times per day. I upload five times per day. I upload video pins because video pins are being pushed. Um, but upload five video pins per day in your niche. Now, remember, Pinterest is heavily dominated, heavily populated by women. And so you have to understand some of the popular the popular um, products and niches that are, that are um, popular with women. In fact, I did a YouTube video for the best affiliate programs for Pinterest. I think that video got a, a pretty good amount of views. And so what I'll do is I'll show you that video. In fact, I'll, I'll link it. Um, watch that video, of course, after this one. But watch that video because that video, I think, could help you get up and running. Now, make sure that you are creating every single day. One of the issues when you're first creating is that when you create, you won't get an immediate result. You'll create, 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 and nothing will happen, and then you'll stop. But you need to create, 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 nothing will happen, and keep creating through it. Uh, let's see if I can find this. Um, affiliate programs for Pinterest, I think. Yeah, 20 best affiliate programs for Pinterest. I'll link that over right now. But what happens is you will start and then you'll stop because you don't see anything moving. But you have to keep creating through it. And you have to look for you have to look for real signs of progress. Okay. What happens, what usually happens is we're looking for monetary results. When you first get started with affiliate marketing and making money online, you are looking for monetary results. And when you don't get monetary results, you get frustrated because you expect money to just happen. But what you should be looking for when you first get started, you should be looking for people coming to your, your website, people coming to your Pinterest uh, profile, people liking, people commenting. Those are the real results that let you know that what you're doing is working. When If you're creating a blog, look at your Google Analytics. Ooh, easy for me to say, Google Analytics, because those are real results. Um, you can't get to the money without getting your first your first lead or getting to uh, your first page view. And that's what hangs that's that's what stops a lot of people is they'll create a bunch they'll, they'll create a con, they'll create content for one week. And at the end of the week, they'll see nothing and they'll automatically assume that nothing is happening. But in reality, what you should be looking for is you should be looking for, let's say you're blogging, you should be looking for impressions. That impressions let you know you're on the right track. You should be looking for page views. You should be looking through or looking for clicks, um, likes, dislikes, comments, shares. Those are things that are important because it lets you know that you're on the right track. Now, if we get back over to, um, let's go to, <clears throat> uh, let's see, let's find organic keywords. <clears throat> Excuse me, Chris, let me know if that answered your question. But um, when you're first getting started, Give yourself real attainable goals. Like if I'm being honest with you, $100 per day right now is going to be a tough sell to yourself because you're going to wake up every day. And, and I did this too. You wake up every day and you check your email for commissions. And when they don't happen, you get frustrated and you say affiliate marketing doesn't work. But literally anybody and everybody that's making a dollar online, started off with getting their first impression, getting their first lead, you know, their first email opt-in, getting their first page view, getting their first upvote, getting their first downvote, getting their first comment. Those are real attainable goals. Uh, for whatever reason, Ahrefs does not like when you try and ask questions about large, uh, large, large websites. Um, for example, uh, um, Chris, let me know if that makes sense. Let me know if I, if I answered your question. Um, and make sure that you do video pins. Other people are going to suggest that you, um, 
repin and cross pin other people. I don't do any of that. Um, for between, uh, between, I would say November and very recently, I would just upload five pins per day. And those were repurposed pins from TikTok. They still have the TikTok logo on them. If you look at my, my, my page, those are all TikTok pins, five pins per day. Um, and I would upload them all at the same time. Other people are going to tell you that you need to sprinkle them out throughout the day. I'd roll in there, spend five or six minutes uploading those pins, and I'd move on to the next thing. Uh, and I was only doing it because I already had the content. I wasn't spending additional time, energy, and effort into creating new content. I was just uploading what I already had. Um, so yeah, Chris, let me know if you have any questions and why, um, come on, Pinterest. Maybe we'll have to, we'll have to figure something out. But um, the cool thing with Pinterest is that you can rank on Google with Pinterest pins. It used to be that I could type in business motivational quotes and they would show up on the top page. Uh, business motivational quotes. Uh, let's see. That used to be it. It looks like it's not there anymore. Someone must watch my video and, and took the idea. But um, yeah, so in my opinion, Everybody is, is right there. The difference between the people that find success and the people that move on to the next thing is they have the mindset that I'm, I need to make a hundred dollars per day. Instead, a real attainable goal would be to, I want to, I want to, I want to generate a hundred impressions by the end of this month. I want to get my first click because you have to remember in order for you to make money, you need to create the content, which we talked about, go from consumer to creator. You need to um, put in your link. Someone needs to click that link. That's a huge step in and of itself. We're incredibly skeptical about clicking on links nowadays, and you should be. But just getting someone to click on your link is a huge step. Okay? Um, so click, get, getting them to click the link getting them to opt in if you're sending people to a landing page, getting people to find your page organically. Um, those are all major milestones that you should, you should embrace and enjoy along your journey. Don't take those milestones for granted. Um, take screenshots of those milestones because those are huge milestones that not a lot of people, that, that people just, some people don't get to them because they get stuck in the consumer and they never cross over to the creator. Guys, let me know if you have any questions. I, I don't I don't mean to go on a little rant here, but uh, I think that I, th I think that um, I think this is helpful. I think this is pretty uh, pretty cool. And and uh, the purpose was to talk about that affiliate marketing course. But I think that I think this can help as well. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, let me I'll actually I'll share a, a personal story. I used to go about a year ago. I would go live every single day. I'd go live. Um, you can look on my channel. I'd go live every single day, and I would, I, I would basically be talking to myself. You know, I'd create these. I'd have 30, 40, 50 minute videos where I was talking to myself, and a lot of people would quit. A lot of people would say, you know what? You know, it's um, it's a good effort. It's a good try, but maybe it's not your thing. And right now, I've got, I think five or six people. I've had 10 or 15 people on, on the live and I'm grateful for every person because that's another opportunity, you know, that shows growth. You can look at some of my older YouTube videos. If we bring them up here, I think I'm still, I'm still on YouTube. Uh, let's go back here. If we look at my older videos, my, some of my older videos have less than 10 views, but you have to look at that as a step. A huge step, a milestone. Uh, let me go back to content here. Be just a moment. All right, so I'm going to drag this over. And what we'll do here is we will sort by. That's not what I wanted. I wanted. Uh, I want to go to YouTube. Anyway, um, we have to realign our expectations. I know people are going to tell you on YouTube. That you can make a hundred dollars per day in eight minutes of work or in 37 seconds of work but those people are the same people that put in a consistent amount of effort 
um, a consistent amount of effort over a long period of time. Uh, if I go over to my channel here, it's funny, the same people that are telling you that you don't need, you, you don't need a website are the same people that have a website. Uh, let's go to my channel. All right, so uh, let me pop over here. Hey, it's me. Uh, we're gonna go to videos. And we are going to sort by date added. So let's look at this. Part of me is incredibly stubborn. Part of me, you know, people are going to tell me I'm wrong and I'm going to do everything possible that to prove that I'm right. So look at these videos. Look at, um, let me find some affiliate marketing videos because a lot of this stuff is, is all over the place. I talk about Amazon Web Services in the beginning. It's, it's more technical. Um, I did review videos for the Ring Spotlight camera. These videos right here, 718 views, 6,000 views. These were two years ago, 87 views. Um, 19 views and so on how to create lots of content for Pinterest you can do it for free over on Canva go to canva.com do video pins or do Pinterest pins and make them video you can um, and, and what you should do and what you should do Chris is find what other people are doing in your niche Chris Chris what's your niche we'll we'll walk through this together right now we'll do Chris will be our case study I'll show you exactly what you need to do. But if we look at this, if we scroll down, I'm talking about Income School Project 24. It's a course that about blogging. Um, these videos now have 200 views. Look at this video right here, 14 views. 14 views, 50 views, four views, and so on. If we scroll down here, um, 45 views, 21 views. People would usually quit <laughs> because 21 views. You know, you're, you're, you're creating 20 minute videos this is 43 views, 18 minute video for, for 43 views. A lot of people are going to quit, but that's 43 people, the 43 people that I didn't have access to before. But what you can do, Chris, is we can go over to canva.com, canva, canva.com. And what you can do is you can create Pinterest pins. You can create TikTok videos. You can create Instagram reels. You can do everything right from Canva. If you wanted to, what you can do, let's say your niche is in, let's say your niche is in, um, let's say your niche is in woodworking. Uh, we can do answer the public.com. Oops. Answer Socrates will work just the same. I like answer the public.com answer the public.com. There we go. We'll hit enter there. And what we can do is we can say, uh, woodworking hit enter and this is going to bring back a bunch of questions that you can answer and what I recommend that you do is you do one of three things you either send them directly to an affiliate offer send them to your YouTube channel your website or um, send them to a blog post and so this is gonna work you only get two searches per day with answer the public or you can find questions over on Quora um, you just need to go out there and decide how you're going to do it. So what you can do is you could say right here, it says how woodworking routers work, woodworking, how to make a box. So let's say we're promoting Ted's woodworking, right? Woodworking, how to make a box. They could say five ways to make a box fast, right? And you can do one, two, three, four, and then you can have a call to action, like click the link, click, click here for the fifth way or click here for for woodworking plans something along those lines because you need to add a call to action one of the issues with pinterest is people give away too much information on the pinterest pin if you're giving away a checklist or a step-by-step -step guide on the pinterest pin they have no need to click on the link to go to your blog website or affiliate program um, people do that all the time in the in the diet niche they'll have a step-by-step -step checklist when in reality you should have let's say you have a five-step checklist give away three of the steps or four of the steps and add a call to action say click here for the fifth step they click on the link they go to your website they go to your affiliate program whatever it may be but that's the key is you don't want to give away too much information and you need to add a call to action Hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if that makes sense, uh, Chris. If you guys have any other questions, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them for you.
Um, but more importantly, if you guys want more in-depth training, more than just um, YouTube training, hours and hours of training, go over to members at alstingodbolt.com. There are three levels to this. There's the free level, there's the silver, and then there's the gold. The free uh, are going to be these first six courses here. And the uh, silver is the first 12 courses. And then the gold, which includes the live chat, is um, is this here. So, guys, let me know if you have any questions. If not, we're going to probably jump off. And I'm going to put in this link just again. Uh, Chris, yes, that makes sense. Keep up the great work. Thank you, sir. Uh, and I'm going to paste this in right here just so that you guys can see that again. And go ahead and sign up and join the community. And let me know if you guys have any questions. Do you guys have any other questions that I can answer for you right now? If you don't have any other questions, I'm going to go ahead and log off because it's about 98 degrees in here. I've got three monitors. I've got a computer. I've got all this stuff on, and I am sweating like crazy. So if you guys don't have any questions, thank you for hopping on. I appreciate everyone that stopped by, that had a question, that silently took notes. Jordan, thank you for the thumbs up. Uh, that silently took notes in the background. The people that, that jumped on because they, they wanted, wanted to hate. I appreciate you guys too. But we will, um, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching and we will see you tomorrow.